NAACP award-winning actor and comedian David Mann and Grammy award-winning soloist Tamala Mann were no strangers to the limelight. But it's not what they did in front of the cameras that has made their relationship last. In their memoir, Us Against the World, David and Tamala share what they have learned behind the scenes in over 30 years of marriage and how it's made them stronger than ever. And you know, what I love about the two of you is how well you work together. I mean, you've been married for 30 years in the industry. That's like, that's like five lifetimes. That's a lifetimes. million years. Right, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> everybody's changing and trading yes. daily. But you work, I mean, you won Grammys, NAACP awards, and you've, I mean, you've done it all, but you do it together. And one thing that I noticed when I was reading, when you first got your break, um, in the in acting in this in the stage acting with Tyler Perry, you said you're not going to do it unless your wife well, I, does I, it with you. You know, I basically told him I said, well, we you know we come as kind of a package deal. You know, I we everything that we've accomplished, we've done it together, yeah. and we like we said we're better together. Yes. You know, so that's I you know I, that's just the way. It's not like one of those things that we write in there, but it's one of those unwritten things that like people know. If she comes, he's gonna come. It's or if you see one of us, you see the other. Yeah. It's like always. Even if it's just him on stage, I'm somewhere in the back, but I'm a, I'm there. We're we're lurking. <laughs> we're somewhere lurking. That's beautiful. It's hashtag relationship goals. Right. That's what I, I like say. <laughs> we're, we're we're a work in progress. Yes. Yeah. And see, that's what I love too, because you you know, people see you now, you're wealthy, you know. You have a lot of more stuff than you did when you oh, first yeah, started. Oh, definitely. And they may nothing. think, look, I want to be like that. Didn't have nothing in <laughs> I want to be like that. But I really appreciate, especially, you know, through the hard times, through the times where you use clothes hangers. Uh, <laughs> oh, on the windshield wipers. <laughs> to wipe the windshield because you, you couldn't homework. afford it. Yes. All that. Um, and even when the lights were out. Yeah. And you stuck by it. You stuck by each other. And for. Yeah. For you, Tamala, you know, I know some women watching are like, you got to get a man all ready-made. And But no. what made you stick through those times when you didn't see what was happening now? But I didn't, but I just knew he had potential. I mean, to become the man that he is today, it's like, no, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I just believed in my heart and I had faith in him. So it's like when you're talking about the lights being cut off, it's like, okay, the lights got cut off. But it's either we're going to go stay with your mom or we're just going to stay here and just wrap the baby up and just hang for the, you know. It was nighttime, so it was time to go to bed anyway. And so I was like, why beat him up when he's already down? And in my mind, I seen, like, if she could love me through this, this time, and I put her in this tough spot, think about when I'm able to provide and put her in a greater spot. I was like, if she's loving me in the rough, mm -hmm. think about when this, you know, the glam comes. Yeah. And she did. Yeah. yeah. But, so it's it's one of those it's one of those things. It's like, we're living a good life, girl. We are. I, I like this chick right here. I do. I do. <laughs> and my my final question, you know, I know your faith. I mean, that's the central part of your marriage. Foundation. The foundation of it. And so, in terms of like purpose, because a lot of people don't know why they're married, if they're married, or some people don't even want to get married because they don't even get the point of it. Mm -hmm. Why is faith and having a godly purpose in your marriage so important? Well, to me, it's like my faith is my drive. It's my everything. I feel like if I didn't have God to go to, especially when you have those rough times, it's like sometimes you have to go to God and say, Lord, give me peace, give me understanding to understand what he's saying to me and to even receive it, because sometimes you can put the wall up. As a wife, it was like, I don't want to hear that right now, but I believe without God, I wouldn't be able to do anything. And with him, we're able to do all things. And even with this, this platform that we've been given, you know, a lot of people want the platform for fame, fortune, and I know that our, foundation, our, our foundation of our faith plays a lot. And the reason we were given this is not to be all of that, but to help somebody. Ultimately, we're now living what God has really called us to do is to help those marriages and those relationships that may be suffering or just want to be better. This is ultimately why we were called. And even families, that's it. Because we've been doing it all along, and for a minute we didn't know what our purpose was. But once we started mentoring couples, even in our early days of marriage, and it just kept going, and it's like the Lord was pressing on my heart, like, you guys need to do this. It's about, it's about marriage. It's about family. 
And you have to have an example. So I feel like, Lord, use us.